Hello beautiful peeps of YouTube and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and you're watching Planning Calm. And here in this channel, I love, love, love to share with you all the many ways I can help you plan a calmer life. Now in this video, I thought I would share a requested video. I put up a post on my Instagram, which I will pop on the screen now. And so many of you really wanted me to showcase my new planner. So this is going to be a new planner move in or a new planner setup, just showing you how I have set up my EC Daily Duo Planner. Popping into the planner, this is, like I said, my Erin Condren Life Planner in the Daily Duo. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this type of planner, it is kind of a dual planner. So it's a year broken up into two separate planners. So this planner that I have here is from July to December 2023. And then the other one I have will be from January to July 2024, I believe. But um, as you can see, I actually put my name in there. <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows I rarely put my name in the beginning of my planner. I don't know. Uh, Brandy Janae, if you feel me, girl. <laughs> Give a girl a thumbs up because, you know, this, the struggle is real. The commitment to that is real. So we, we were chatting about that on Instagram the other day, and I just thought it was so funny because I know I'm not alone. <laughs> so anywho, and if you haven't checked out Brennan Janae, check out her channel. She is phenomenal, fabulous, fabulous. Love her. Anywho, so um, this is the, the kind of beginning page of my planner. And what I have here... Now, again, one thing that I love about planning is that it is so personal and how I choose to set up my planner may not work for you, but it obviously works for me. So feel free to take the ideas as you need to, but then personalize and design your planner to make sense for you. So what I've done here is in this little section here, I rarely ever know what to do with these, but what I've done is I want to be more present in terms of you know, not worrying so much about things, not being anxious about things, trying to be more calmer, um, to have more trust and faith in my faith and in God and all that good stuff. So what I've done here is these are just six reminders that I have for myself and I put them up in these um, separate boxes here. And every time I open my planner and if I need that reminder, I can come here and remind myself that I need to be calm or be grateful, etc. And so that's that page. This page here is um, just kind of an overview. It's the the calendar. So what I've done is I made a little legend and I added the holidays, birthdays, my personal stuff and some work stuff that I want to keep track of. So that's what I put there. And then we move into the July monthly view. And so I got this planner last month, I believe. So in full transparency, I did do a little back planning um, in the monthly calendar part. And um, I'll show you the other parts as well. There was a couple days that I had to back plan, but I wanted to do that so that I can keep track of the courses that I was in at the time. So that was that. That's what that was about. But anyway, this is my monthly view for July. And how I'm setting up my monthly view is I'm tracking the things that I need to track and um, things I want to make sure that I'm staying on top of, things I'm making, I want to make sure I make time for, those type of things. So I have that there. Um, there <laughs> last month was a exceptionally busy month because I was taking two courses. If you are new to the channel, you don't know, I am in grad school currently on the road to getting my PhD. So I am very, very busy with the courses, both in the summer and throughout the year. Um, I'm also an educator as well, so there's that. And um, that's the monthly view there. And in this page here, I use this for, you know, different things. And because I'm so new to the planner, it some things work, some things don't. Um, but I mean, I, I have been using it for a little while, so I'm just doing what works for me. So uh, on this page here, I wrote all my devotionals that I wanted to keep track of last month. And um, yeah, that, that works for me. On this page here, I have the bills that I want to make sure that get paid, important days to remember, and kind of like a launch pad for really important things that I want to make sure I remember to do for that month. And then my word for the month is uh, always located here. And in these, these parts here, if you're noticing, these are actually stickers that I got 
and they're actually also from the EC line and they are the Wildflowers collection. Love this, love, love, love this. And it's just such a great, such a great um, sticker book. And it just, it looks and matches everything in the planner. I know some people aren't really into the matchy matchy vibe, but it works for me because it just takes the brain work out of it, which makes me feel calmer. <laughs> I also use these markers as well. Um, these uh, Aaron Conjured Writing Tool markers, also in the Wildflowers um, design, and also the colors complement the planner as well. I accidentally spilt my tea on it <laughs> morning in class, so I actually just ripped those pages up because it just, it was a whole mess and it was ticking me off to be honest with you. Obviously not making me feel calm, so unfortunately I had to take out those pages bummer but um i did i was able to um salvage uh the fourth starting from the fourth so that's where my planner starts um weirdly enough but um so yeah I, these these are my dailies um and i love the daily duo because it gives me the room to write the things i need to write sometimes with um my other planners that i've had i'm just struggling to fit everything in i write big and it's just you know a, a whole thing that i struggle with um but that's the daily the daily pages i love also i really love these um you know kind of pages before the daily week begins and i use these as weekly to do sheets so um all the things that i need to do for that week ahead i write here and as the weeks go i just check them off like oh okay i did this check it off i did that check it off and for me and i've said this before on my channel i get so much satisfaction when i can check things off of my list so i will make sure i get it done and if i don't then i move it to another day that i can get it done and if i absolutely can or don't care then i also sh give it an x and say eh, i didn't get it done that's okay too <laughs> um but these were my daily pages again and like I said, it was um, a really busy month, so there's not really anything exciting, but I did want to show you how I kind of set that up. There's that. Again, this pen is beautiful. There's no bleeding. There's no, you know, transfer through. Um, the highlighter, the dot markers that I use, it can, sometimes it does transfer through, but the EC planner pages are so thick and nice that it's not terribly, you know, a nuisance or anything like that. And again, a new week starting. So I have a new uh, weekly to-do sheet that looks great there. And yeah, it, it's been such a joy um, working in this planner. I haven't had an EC planner in a long time and I've missed it, but I'm so, you know, so grateful for, um, you know, opportunity to to use this planner and I, and I love it. So moving ahead here, um, that was July and this is again, another week um, sheet here. And then um, as the start of the new month comes, you have additional writing sheets. And this one here, I really wanted just to keep it simple because August this month is my actual vacation. So I'm not looking to do anything extra that I don't need to do, honey, okay? <laughs> so I don't have any of the, uh, the usual stuff I do have when I'm doing my hustle and grind on, but I just want to keep it simple. So um, I love this, this little saying, rest is productive. I definitely need that because I was feeling burnt out. Comment below if you have ever felt burnt out and what you do to kind of get yourself back on track. I would love to know. But this is my August 2023 view and I love it. I love it. It's just simple. There's not too much going on. I just, I'm keeping the track of the things I need to keep track of and that's it, okay? Anything extra, don't need to add it. Um, so for this month, I have my monthly goals here and the things that I wanna accomplish this month and I have that there. And at the end of this month, I hope to kind of come back and review these things, make sure that I am checking them off. Whatever I don't accomplish, I can move to the next month and so on. So yeah, so this is my daily so far for this month. And I'm loving it. Again, not too much craziness going on uh, because like I said, I'm on vacation and I'm honestly enjoying myself and I'm loving it. So that's how I'm setting the planner up so far. If you can see, I have you know more days to come. I'm not worrying about 
you know, planning too far ahead. I'm really trying to be in the moment and just relax myself, be calm and enjoy. But I really, really am loving this planner. It is such a great planner, so easy. I love the fact that it's nice. I can carry it in my purse. Um, there's little pockets here I can even fit. Can I fit this in here? Oh, sweet. I can fit my sticker book in here and it fits well. There's another pocket back here and there's that dry erase I can write notes on if I want to. And it's just an all around excellent planner. And I've really, really been enjoying it so far. So if you've ever been wondering if the EC Daily Duo Planner is right for you, I highly recommend that you give it a shot, give it a try. I really found out about this planner from, of course, <laughs> one of my planner loves, uh, Julie's Plans. Love her, love her channel. But I saw her feature this planner on her channel and I'm like, I guess to get me that planner. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. If it was, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more planner content to come. And until the next video, my beautiful friends, take care, be well, be blessed, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye, planner peeps.